What is up, Obscure Mike people? It's Bart coming at you with something I had not really high hopes for, but uh, I had hopes. It's the Yamaha Session Cake SC02. This is a little fun portable device that takes AA batteries, powers dynamic microphones, and before I show you everything on it, you can buy up to eight of these and link them and every musician can be plugged in or every podcaster can be plugged in and it's, it's, you can link the devices and I just, I like fun stuff like this. I really dig it about the size of a, a, a half a brick. I don't know, hand sized, but man, this is, this is cool. I picked this thing up for 20 bucks on Amazon, $20 brand new, 20 bucks. It's 28 now, but it was $20 when I bought it. Add it to your list. Keep an eye on it. If you like little travel devices that are battery powered, and if you're a dynamic person, kind of like I am, I don't use condensers a whole lot. I do enjoy them. I mean, I do like my Avlex AVS 77 here a lot, but to me, a good dynamic as a podcaster is kind of just a, a good way to go. This thing here, it's not an audio interface in the fact that uh, it has a USB out and can go to your computer. I mean, you can plug it into your computer with a 3.5 millimeter jack if you want to use it like that, which works. But for the most part, this is an on-the-go device, and these kind of devices appeal to me because I could run the 3.5 millimeter TRRS cable that comes with it from the device straight into my phone's 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and record a video just like this on the go even though I'm not on the go right now. Let's take a look at this device real quick. Let's take a look at the Yamaha Session Cake. You've got a headphone control volume, a pan left and right, which does work well. Left, right, centered. The input and the me control I believe the me control goes out to the people you can link these session cakes up with through the aux cable and the input controls the gain, but you can use both of those to get considerably loud levels. Let's take a look at the rest of the unit. Here on the side, you've got the one and two chain. So you can run this out to multiple session cakes and then those can run out to multiple session cakes. You got a headphone jack with latency free monitoring an on off power switch, and that's on that side. Nothing on the front of the unit where the buttons face. Then on the other side of the unit, you have mute and direct gain, or mute, mute and direct, which uh, the, the monitoring comes on when it's slid to mute. And the right side direct, I don't know what that goes to. It doesn't give me any direct monitoring. Then we've got the mic gain switch here. So we've got an input and we've got a mic gain switch. Like this is, this is why we have three different ways to adjust the level here. Let me see. The gain is all the way up. This thing has a lot of power and that's surprising. Then of course you've got the XLR jack for your microphone and then you've got a stereo input, quarter inch inputs. Left side you can do mono or you can go left right for stereo. Nothing on the other side there. So literally you have two sides to this thing with functionality, which uh, from the front of the unit, it is the right side and the left side. The other two have nothing and then at the bottom is your double A battery hatch. Two double A's go in there. But uh wow, dude. This is uh this is a lot more than I was expecting, to be honest. A, a lot more. I bought a, another Comica AD2, Comica Linkflex AD2 to do some video stuff with my phone and it's got phantom power so that works out pretty well. But man, this little Yamaha unit is a lot more powerful than I thought. You could, adjusting the gain and the input volume and the me volume, you have three different levels here. I have to figure all this out and come back, I guess. So I'll do that. 
Okay, so the three levels of volume you get here. So on the uh, on the device here, this me, the me part right here, that is to adjust the volume that you hear, not just the headphone volume, but like it's to mix and match, like the sound coming from your bandmates or podcast mates. Like you can turn yourself up over them, and this turning this up won't affect what they hear. You're not turning yourself up for them. It's just for you. So it's a kind of a mix and match there with the headphones. Balance your sound out. The input gain, the input level here, this is for you and your bandmates are going to hear it if you turn it up or down as well. So input is the volume of your mic and your session mates are going to hear it as well. The gain that I showed you, that little tiny knob, that is strictly to adjust the microphone's gain level. So to me, this is one of those devices that are very, you know, you can really dial in your volume and the preamp. I'm being quiet so we can hear if there's any noise. Like I'm in a noisy environment, but I don't hear any preamp noise from this machine. And I've got the gain just kind of halfway up and I've got the input at like 70%, the me straight up and down. The headphones are kind of not all the way cranked, but they were somewhat cranked there. See, if I turn the headphones halfway and then the me up, I can hear, yeah, it adjusts everything a little bit. So there we go. This is a pretty rad ass device, if I have to say so. These are the kind of things I love. Like, yeah, there's no phantom power, but that is the drawback to me because I can plug this in and record in a laptop, anything with a 3.5 millimeter TRRS jack I can use this on and it's battery powered and you can link it like if I if they go back on sale for 20 bucks I can buy three or four more of these and set up a little podcast ring where everyone has their own headphones everyone has their own mic input like we can we can truly dial this all in with our own little separate control boxes in front of us it's just about keeping the batteries you know, bunch of rechargeables, I take it would be, would be nice. And then after every set, every after, figure out how many sessions you can go with it and then charge them all before the next group of sessions. But I like the word session because it's a session cake from Yamaha 20 bucks, man. And this mic it's, it's a, uh, you can probably see what it is. I'm not, I'm not going to say much about it because I haven't done a review yet, but this mic, it does take considerable amount of gain to get going. And this thing's, this thing's doing it, man. This thing's doing it. I'm doing it well. Awesome. Awesome. I, I'm very pleasantly surprised by this little Yamaha device. I want more. Obscure mics, link in the description if you want to grab one. Even at 28 bucks, it's a killer deal, especially if you love on the go shit like this. I, I, I love it. I love it. Bark Award. <laughs> I love, I like it that much. It's that much fun to use. This is a, gr this is a great way to go. This, this is great for on the go podcasting. If you want to use your phone, you know, you want to do video or just wire it in to record. Like this is, this is cool. This is really cool. Obscure mics. I get excited over little things. So kill me, sue me, whatever. Kiss me, kill me. You two kiss me, kill me. Something. Yeah, Batman soundtrack. The whole thing. Obscure mics. Peace out.